As we head back to school, we're hearing a lot in the news about the H1N1 virus, also known as swine flu. When temperatures begin to dip this fall, outbreaks of H1N1 are expected. This flu is unpredictable, but we do know a few things. The age group most likely to be affected is our student population, young people ages 5 to 24. And we're told by health experts at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention that some school closures could happen. But the CDC and the Department of Education both emphasize that communities should avoid school closures as much as possible so that we don't disrupt our students' learning. We know we can't stop the flu, but we can decrease the number of people who get sick from it and maybe help prevent our schools from closing. To show us how, I've gathered my own panel of experts who can demonstrate some simple, common sense steps that you can pass on to your students. First, I'd like to ask my panel, what is the absolute best way to prevent the spread of germs? Wash your hands often. Right, that is absolutely right. Wash your hands with soap and water and keep washing them for at least 20 seconds or about the time it takes to sing happy birthday twice or to sing the alphabet song. Lucy and Megan, can you show us how? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. And the CDC says it's important to wash thoroughly, to really rub your hands together. But if you can't wash your hands with soap and water, like on the bus, you should use hand sanitizer to keep your hands free of germs. Great hand washing. Nice job, Megan and Lucy. Now, Colin, do you know the second common sense tip for preventing the spread of flu? Do the Dracula cough. The Dracula cough. Demonstrate it, please. <laughs> Demonstrate the Dracula sneeze. <laughs> Ah, perfect. The Dracula cough, which means when you have to cough or sneeze, bring your elbow over your mouth just like the vampire Dracula pulling it over his cape. And now, who on my panel of experts knows the last common sense tip? If you feel sick, stay home. Say it again. If you feel sick, stay home. That's right. And this goes for teachers, support professionals, and students. If you feel sick with flu-like symptoms, stay home and get well. Do not come back to school until at least 24 hours after your fever is gone. So let's review the three steps one more time. Panel. Wash your hands often. The second one. Do the Dracula cough or sneeze. And the last one. If you feel sick, stay home. Thank you, panel. And thanks to all our educators who are at the forefront of protecting student and community health.